So City Transformer is showing a whole new way to commute inside cities. We would like to disrupt the way people are moving inside cities. Today you have the two alternatives. And we will really believe that the current state of uh, driving inside cities is broken, or the current mobility model. So you have cars, which are big, polluting, not relevant for cities and blocking the cities, actually. We have two wheelers, which are great, but then they are not safe and not weather protected and not for all people. Most of the people cannot use them with disability, older ages, uh, children, and last mile logistics. We are bridging the gap in between these two and offering a new innovative solution, a smart vehicle that for the first time transform to your needs and not the opposite. Instead of you adopting to the vehicle, the vehicle adopts to you. The inspiration uh, about the car came from a real pain, moving to the big cities, sewing uh, and looking at the big problems of instead of having the car solving and making our life easier and being the symbol of, symbol of freedom, actually, it became worse. Uh, you are stuck in traffic, looking for parking, wasting an hour a day, just looking for parking and stuck in congestion, it doesn't make too much of sense. So when we started looking globally, we saw that it's a global phenomena, influences a lot of places around the world. And when we started analyzing it, we saw that 85% of all trips conducted in the US, more or less the same figure in Europe, are conducted within 15 miles radius, and in 85% of the time, just a single passenger is in right. the car. So it doesn't make sense to carry two-ton vehicle just to carry a single passenger stuck in traffic in 20 kilometers per hour. So instead, we developed the city transformer. We have developed a unique technology uh, in Israel at our startup called AWA. AWA is active with adjustment. This unique technology lets our chassis breathe with you in cities and adapt to your needs. Actually, we call it performance mode and city mode. While driving in performance mode, and when we say or state performance mode, we do not mean uh, having two seconds from zero to 100 because it's not really a necessity inside cities, but you actually need to be stable to be safe. And we develop just this. You have in performance mode a chassis as wide as 1.4 meter. You get the stability, you get the safety, and when you have a safety and stability, you get also the confidence to drive up to 90 kilometers per hour. And when you get into city center, would like to outsmart traffic or maybe just double park without interrupting the traffic. So the chassis narrows to one meter, just one meter like the width of a large motorcycle. When you do that, you get actually, we call it a city mode, but you get actually the maneuverability that allows you to maneuver easily inside cities and let up to 40 city transformer park in a single parking place. The target customer for the first stage will be Europe. We are targeting both B2C and B2B customers, the private end user. We are happy to say that state that we launched yesterday a pre-order campaign for early adapters to reserve the vehicle. But we are mainly also targeting B2B shared fleets. We believe that we can make an impact on cities. And in order to do it, we need to change completely the model and then bring the missing link in between vehicles and two-wheelers, which are City Transformer is the missing link to provide it to shared fleets in a revenue share model and eventually becoming a mobility service provider ourselves. We are an Israeli startup doing Israel innovation, German engineering. We have with our, uh, in our team as a partner and as an executive consultant, Professor Tom Forde that invented the smart city car. He is going with us a few years, brought all, all his wisdom from the smart to the next generation of city transformer. So this kind of duality between Israel and Germany is very, very interesting for us and bringing the most, uh, cap most capabilities from both. We are aiming to develop the vehicle and manufacture the vehicle in Europe also in the future. And we are here uh, happy to say that there are good design partners and manufacturing partners that we are meeting along the way. Next year, we'll be planning roadshows, 2023 a pilot, and 2024, we'll get to mass production, delivering the first vehicle in real mass production capacities.